Hello beautiful Geminis. How are you today? Welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. Four video readings will be given away this month and every month through the year of 2021. The dates of publication of the winners will be the first of each month. Everything you need to know about the contest, how to win, how to claim it, as well as personal readings is in the description box below. Gemini, look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Cups. That's a great deal of love. I feel, Gemini, that this is you. And for some of you, you have walked away from the pain that someone else has brought you in relationship. You are, re you are releasing pain. You're walking towards the sun. It's been a long journey for many of you. The Eight of Wands, you are inspired. You are taking action in your life. You are seeking empowerment. You are seeking to have a great deal of happiness, sexiness. You have the strength to manifest love. And look at this, hopes and dreams come true for love. So let's look and see. I like how you set your intentions. It looks like we're going to have a great reading. So let's, let's see what's going on here. Okay, Gemini, look at this reading. It's quite beautiful. Gemini, you are not really talking to your person. You are holding back. You are keeping to yourself. The Four of Pentacles, you feel as though you've given quite enough in this relationship. Uh, at this time, just keeping to yourself, you can see the look on her face. She's like, you know what? My everything that I value, I'm keeping to myself. You have gone to the mountain, so to speak, to look for answers in this relationship. It has been quite confusing to you because you have gotten, you have received mixed messages from the person that you love. This person appears to have really started in a big way with you. Their first entrance into your life was all about, take a chance with me, Gemini. I'm the one, Gemini, with the Fool card. All along, and what you seek now, Gemini, is a balanced life completely. We have temperance, which is Sagittarius. It rules the ninth house of balance, higher thought, but justice. So you want somebody to treat you fairly. This is justice, which is all about what's right, not who's right. This is all about what's fair. And temperance is how you get there because these two cards work very well together. And that's what I see is that you're very much a powerhouse of knowing how to take care of yourself at this time. In the past, this person made a dazzling offer to you. You really thought that you were going to go on a journey that was going to culminate in a committed relationship that would bring you much happiness. Along the way, though, we see that your person may have juggled you with another situation. So when we get the Two of Pentacles, you feel as though you were juggled. Um, it could be, again, you could be juggled because the person is very busy. You could be juggled because they weren't serious. They were talking to other people. And the reason I say that is a Knight of Wands energy. This person sort of promised you a wonderful, beautiful adventure you know, you can trust me, Gemini. And over here, we have a situation in which you have most likely in some way called an end to this relationship. At the very least, you have to protect yourself because this person came in and this is a card of the player. This is a card of somebody who's in and out. This is a card of somebody who's not offering you safety. This is not a card of somebody who's balanced. This is not the card of someone who is, you know, going to treat you in a way <clears throat> that makes you feel really encouraged. You know, you hear you feel as though you have to protect yourself because you've seen either text messages or the person has told you outright that you really can't count on them, that you really can't um, 
they're not going to deliver what they promised and yet for them they don't see anything wrong with what they've told you they feel as though well that's the way it is Gemini and you know of course everybody says things that maybe were a little insincere um, you know and you really do feel you feel as though this person offered you a lot and they gave you you know not much so we have the beautiful King of Wands here for our Gemini friends the King of Wands is Leo energy so that what this tells me is that when we go from the knight to the king that's Sagittarius this is Leo that is absolutely your person stepping into power at this time the fact that you are not talking to them the fact that you are holding back you know, many of you may be dealing with a Virgo energy, Sagittarius or Libra. They may have that in their chart. But your person now realizes that if they do not take charge, if they do not take action, that this relationship is going to be over. And you're just, it's sort of like ripe fruit on the vine and you Gemini are not going to put up with being juggled you're just not so let's clarify the cards and see what we have here but before we do that let's take a look at the messages from spirit right now the end of a tough cycle approaches so you're in a very serious time, full moon in Capricorn. You are very serious about what you want. This is a very strong goal orientation that says, you know what, I'm not going to put up with some wild adventure, which was supposed to be fun. It was supposed to be thrilling but it was also supposed to be safe i'm not doing that capricorn is very serious it's ruled by saturn so what we see here is that you are taking your love life very seriously and if this person you've already decided if this person cannot produce something balanced and fair if they don't come in with a solid offer by their actions not by their promise this is the end of the road for you. So let's look and see what we have. The shaman. Trust in higher forces. Okay, so you are you have the backing of spirit. Uh, stay rooted and grounded. Very good. This is great energy here for staying rooted and grounded and balanced. Look at that. You are already achieving that as you come into the reading ignite your passion and the king of wands energy is ultimately your outcome which means that you will have what you want by igniting your passion the journey that spirit is telling you that you need to take at this time is watching the clouds there's nothing for you to do you need to take no direct action other than really looking at your goals your intentions and being true to them you know letting everything that isn't going to serve you just die off basically you're going to leave it alone you're going to ignore it and you're just going to take care of yourself but where you're really getting the message here of lie back rest and relax at this time Gemini let's go ahead and clarify the cards to see what's going on why do we have the hermit card in the position let's clarify the hermit card what do we need to know about this time of thought and seeking answers for our gemini friends oops a daisy lots of cards coming out here too many actually oh, so we're going to take this okay so look at this we have you these are all reversed so we have you feeling defensive but now that you know what you're doing you don't need to defend yourself because you're taking care of yourself. Does that make sense? You don't have to have an argument. Um, we also see that you are of two minds. You are not making a decision about the person for whom you've come to the reading to inquire. What you are doing is you're taking a very aloof, balanced approach that says, essentially, that you're going to let this person take whatever actions they're going to take and that you're going to judge them by what they do, 
not what they say. You're not going to give any credence to anything other than the actions that they take. So that is good energy. You are, you know, relaxing. You know, you're trusting yourself. Here you are, trusting yourself. So temperance, look at this. Okay. This person does love you, Gemini. You love this person. They love you. We also see with this temperance card that there is a guardian angel here protecting you, protecting your heart, protecting your love. What do we have with the Fool card energy? What do we have? Let's see. The King of Cups reversed is somebody who does not keep their promises. So what you know about this new beginning in the past, this person may have brought you flowers, but, you know, it meant nothing. And that's the way you see the reality of it. It was sweet nothings, as they say. Make promises you have no intention of keeping, I think, is what... Uh, the beauty and the beast line is <laughs> you know what do i say to bell make promises you have no intention of keeping was the movie line something like it okay look at this all oh, beautiful gemini you're not fearful anymore you know coming into the reading you were fearful or felt like you had to protect yourself and now you don't you know you're really feeling as though you're moving forward more virgo energy it really says that you're take you're very sure-footed. You know what you're doing. You have a plan. Look at what we have. The Justice card. You are absolutely taking time out for yourself to find your balance. You are feeling reinvigorated in your life. It looks like many of you are working on a creative project. Right now, you're not going to make a decision. In fact, you've decided not to decide. We have judgment in reverse. You're going to sort of let this sort itself out. You're not going to try to control anything or direct anything. <clears throat> you are letting spirit take care of everything what's you know everything that's going on behind the scenes you are just turning it over to a higher power you're doing you you're waiting for answers to come to you very intuitively i see that most of you are you thought about moving you thought about leaving right now once again there's this energy that you're going to act very strategically and you're simply manning up rule in this rulership or this very masculine energy of authority because this emperor is one that plays the plays the long game you are playing chess you are playing chess in your life what moves can you make this is about empowerment and that's what you are doing right now and right now spirit has told you rest relax lie back there's no action to take and you are following the guidance of spirit we have the knight of wands tell us about this in and out energy that the other person has exhibited right now it looks like they've taken off yet again i don't think that they're talking to you because you had the hermit card we have the death card we have you keeping to yourself we have you wondering what's going on and yet staying balanced the four of cups okay so this person in your view is seeing you not having interest you feel as though they're bored with you. You feel as though they're, you know, they're not engaging with you. They're not talking to you. But I like the fact that this person is bored without you. You're very dynamic, Gemini. And look at what we have. Not only are they not talking to you, they're being sneaky. This is a card that tells me that they feel as though they don't have the answers. They're not admitting that they want you because this is a card of passion. Your person wants to come over and make love to you. Your person wants to have fun with you. And since you are not offering your Venus Empress energy, since you have chosen to pull in and keep to yourself, they're not enjoying the benefits of the friendship that they told you would not be what happened. They promised you romance. They treated you like friends with benefits. And now they're trying to be very stealthy. This person is trying to make you feel as though they're ending the relationship because you're not giving them, you're not doing what you used to do. You're not bending over backwards. You're not contacting them. They see on social media that you are doing well for yourself. 
that you are involved in things that are making you happy. You, here we go again. So this person hasn't been talking to you, but look at what we have. This person is beginning to see that you are holding them accountable for equal give and take. If they are not going to come in and be, you know, give equally, and we have temperance, we have justice, and now the six of coins, you are not going to accept that as being someone, you're just not someone who does not know their worth. This tells us and tells your person, you know your worth, you know your value, and you are sticking to it. Look at this, two of wands energy. Your person is at a crossroads, but more, more than that, your person knows that you are at a crossroads, that you are about to make a decision about the relationship. This is your past, this is your present, you're going to spin the globe, and we have this beautiful VW bus down here with a surfboard. Your person absolutely knows that you are the sort of person that can go travel alone, that you can have a good life alone. This is making them go quiet. They thought they had a plan to run in and maybe tell you another story about why, you know, another night. Nights are never there for good. Nights are always coming. This is in and out energy. This person wants to rush in and tell you something and now they're watching you. They've decided not to. They don't want to take responsibility for their part in hurting you. So we see another reversal. We're getting the Nine of Cups. You are their happy place. That's in reverse. The stability is gone from the relationship. And here we have it. Now we have the solution to what this person is going to do. Your person absolutely knows that they did not invest in you in the same way that you invested in them. When we get the energy of the moon reverse, they are finally about to reveal their feelings. They're finally about to tell you what it is that they want with you and they are about to enter. So let's see what they're going to tell you. What is this energy? All of a sudden they're going to open up. Oh, Queen of Wands energy. Well, the Queen of Wands is the very successful, strategic, happy, a very good manager. When the Queen of Wands comes into the picture, she is going to execute a plan. The Queen of Wands is Aries energy, so it's about taking action. It's about actually making something happen instead of the promise of it happening. The Queen of Wands is the business card. It is uh, really a person who is fiery, passionate, attractive, and is very convincing. So now we get your person seeing that you are operating with this incredible, beautiful energy. And if they want the relationship, if they want the relationship, then they are going to have to take swift action to bring you in from out of the cold with King of Wands energy. Now, you know, here it is. That's the story we see in front of us. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? This is your fear, Gemini. This is your fear that you're going to end this, that you're really just, this person's going to drift out of your life. What's the truth of the matter? The Ten of Cups, this person loves you. They've been hiding it. They've been hiding their feelings. They do love you. This is a happily ever after card. We see your person really feeling. Uh, they, they love the fact that you love them. They are manifesting you. You are manifesting them. What else is your person doing behind the scenes that you don't know about? They're leaving something else. They're leaving a party lifestyle behind. So even if they are not in a party lifestyle, it looks as though they usually have female friends, people who talk to them, people who text them, and they realize that that's not going to work. So I'm seeing a focus on you, Gemini, but let's see what the Queen King, excuse me, the King of Wands is your outcome. This is your king. What's he coming in with? A very small offer. Page of Pentacles is like, let's go have dinner. Let's you know, let's do something, let's watch a movie, let's, uh, but it is an offer, it is an offer, but it's a small offer. The devil energy, oh, beautiful, reversed. 
this person is very controlling and they have decided that trying to control Gemini is not healthy. Gemini will walk. You can only control a Gemini, you can control a Gemini for a period of time if this is in the upright but upside down. Uh-uh, no, 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 that's gone bye-bye. Gemini knows the scoop. Gemini knows the truth. Gemini is balanced. Gemini, you are in a beautiful place right now. Here we are. You're the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as a very successful single person. Here we go. These just flipped. They actually are not quite sure what to do, but they see you in this Ten of Wands energy. They don't think that you've given up on them, but what's interesting is that is not a helpful card. So let's see here. Oh, let's look at this. We have the Strength card. So the Strength card is what this person has. They want to come in the right way with you, Gemini. We're really seeing that they want to Strength is all about having patience. It's the infinity symbol. This person wants to come back in. And what we're looking at here is that they have a lot of choices. This is a person with a lot of options. Nine of Wands. They want to do the work. So what we're seeing, Gemini, is that your person wants to try to rebuild this you know there's a lot to be answered here in this reading i am going to take this over to an extended for those of you who would like to join me again i would uh, ask that you leave comments below that you like subscribe share and comment here to support the channel Cindy, you love from Chicago, Gemini. It's been beautiful. It's been a joy speaking with you. Send some back and tell me where you're from.